Welcome to Barcelona and welcome to the decider in the inaugural prototype winter series. Go out, have some fun, see if we can actually secure a good position. I think we're still in the contention for a team championship, so if, uh, if we play our cards right, we could also secure that this weekend. Well, we are confident because we did the fastest lap of the weekend so far uh, in free practice, 34.9. Uh, so the pace is really strong. I'm just a bit scared of the tire degradation. It will be my, fir my first race with such a heavy car. So, yeah, hopefully after the pit stop, we have uh, still some tires and we can fight until the end. Honestly, I don't want to, let's say, implicate the, the, the championship. But, uh, yeah, of course, I will try my best to be up front. Well, that was our drivers speaking ahead of race two. Unfortunately, race one never took place. The weather too adverse to go racing. And that means that with just one race left to score points in, Danny Sufi is already the drivers champion in the 2024 prototype winter series. Well, before the race even begins, drama for Clement Moreno, who finds himself in a spin in the... Uh, sighting lap however everyone else gets underway and it's a particularly good start from fabian michel in the race gp duquesne looked to the inside at turn one couldn't get it done it's side by side between danny sufi and moritz kranz through turn two but it's danny sufi that leads in the early stages then everybody else through the first few corners cleanly and just rejoining the circuit there is clement moreno in the 42 sufi ahead of Moritz Kranz then. Moritz joining the prototype wind series for the first time. A driver hugely decorated in LMP3 cars specifically. So a great test this is for Danny Sufi. Who has already claimed the prototype wind series championship. He has an 11 point advantage in the title going into this race. And only 9 points left to score as we see there. Uh, Maxim Dirick's making a move further back in the field. That was on John Brownson. These LMP3 cars, always a highlight of these weekends. Good scrap going on between John Brownson and Steve Parrow for seventh overall. Parrow, who will hand over later on to Daniel Karlwitz. Meanwhile, Brownson will hand over to Lawrence Hur. Two very, very fast gold-rated drivers waiting in the wings for these two teams. There you see Kevin Rabin in at the Nova Proto. Two of them on the grid this weekend. And oh, Maxine Dirichs just losing it there on the sausage curb, coming through seven and eight. So easily done. And unfortunately, it's going to take quite a delicate foot to get that car back out. He does end up digging it into the gravel. And sure enough, the safety car is. And uh, well, not the safety car, my apologies. Full course yellow is declared around the circuit. That is in order to make sure. Uh, the pit stop handicap system is preserved, of course, rather than running separate driver categorizations in this championship. We have minimum pit stop times depending on the quality of the lineup. A piece coming off the Rinaldi racing car there. That was the bodywork covering the suspension, covering the shock absorbers. And as that's come off, Clement Moreno uh, diving past there. Steve Parrow now tries to get round John Brownson as well. Moreno and Lemoyne, a very handy all-bronze combination. And with a pit stop that's usually around a minute shorter than the uh, all-silver lineups, they could yet be a factor in the race. Sebastian Gravland handing over to his teammate Rick Kuhn then. And as they exit the pit lane, Daniel Kalvitz very slow in the pits. And Lawrence Hurt gets past in the pit lane. Very unusual that. Karlwitz maybe was off the limiter or something like that because he was a lot slower in the pit lane. Danny Sufi is in. Let's see where he comes out relative to some of the others out there. Of course, they're going to have to worry about Hadrian David as well, who takes over the 85 RS GP LMP3 car uh, from Fabian Michel. Now, Fabian is a bronze rated driver so they will have a shorter pit stop than Moritz Kranz who heads back out onto the circuit and Danny Sufi however Kranz was slow getting the car out there I think they had an electrical issue so that's going to cause them problems oh and it's getting very very close indeed between Lawrence Hur and Daniel Kalvitz Kalvitz there was trying to sneak up the inside of Lawrence Hur as both of them are behind Kevin Rabin in sixth position 
And that was a bit Rosberg-Hamilton from back in the day, wasn't it? Lawrence Hur leaning on Carlwitz. Carlwitz managed to hold it, but it's looking very heated between those two parties. Carlwitz and Hur have now gotten past Kevin Rabin, but that battle has been physical on a couple of occasions, and it looks like Kevin Rabin has a little bit of a twitch there. He had a bit of contact there from Lawrence Hur. As Lawrence went past, hopefully that car isn't too damaged. There's Eco Segre's LMP3 as well. Uh, LMP4, my apologies. Great to see a P4 car out there. Kevin Rabin gets out dragged by Moritz Kranz for seventh place. Kranz with a very long pit stop. They struggle to get that Molnar Duquesne back underway. Meanwhile, Lawrence Hur has closed in on Julian Lemoyne for fourth place. He's also gapped Daniel Karlwitz, who I think might have a little bit of damage. Kalvitz also closing in on Lemoyne. It makes it look fairly easy. Lemoyne just trying to reach the flag. Our new prototype wind series champion, Danny Sufi, has company. Rick Kern behind. And then Hadrian David as well. Hadrian, of course, runner up in Frecker, the Formula Regional Championship in 2022. And he dives the inside there of Rick Kern. And he gets it done for second place. Now, Kern, a former. GT racer. He's also new to LMP3s, as is Hadrian David, but look at that for a lunge up against Danny Sufi. On the penultimate lap of the race, they are wheel to wheel. Sufi's trying to hold on, but I think Hadrian David may have just done enough there. What a drive from Hadrian. Third to first in the last minutes of the race. And I don't think Danny Sufi is going to be able to retaliate to that. Hadrian David in his LMP3 debut. RACE GP also new to LMP3 competition. And what a combination this looks like. Hadrian out of the final corner and will claim the win, will claim the flag in the final prototype win series race of the season. Danny Sufi will consolidate his championship results with a second place in that last race ahead of Rick Kuhn for the Inter Europol team. Uh, Lawrence here rounding out uh, the top four ahead of Julian Lemoyne. Daniel Karlwitz ultimately had a penalty and he was judged to be at fault for that uh, pit lane shenanigans with Lawrence here. But Hadrian David, along with Fabian Michal, a great result for RSGP in their prototype win series debut. He will be delighted with that result. That was absolutely fantastic to watch. How was your first stint out there? Yes, it's a good, uh, it's a very nice uh, race for, for us. I, I took uh, a, a good start and I tried to, to keep the, the, the lead. So it's difficult because there's a silver driver. And uh, after that, uh, uh, Adrien uh, do, doing a good, uh, good, uh, good start, good scene. Adrian, first race in LMP3s. Did you expect that? Well, I didn't expect that, to be honest, but I didn't expect to stall on the, on the restart as well. Uh, the stint was really good, the pace was really strong. Uh, there was more dirtier than what I expected, so when I came back to the leading cars, I struggled to overtake them, but then as soon as I got some free hair for the last two laps, it was really nice. And yeah, I think it's a good start to the season. Uh, it was our first race ever with this car. We just received it uh, last week, so yeah, we are quite happy. There you go, Hadrian David entering the world of prototypes with a win alongside the experienced Fabian Michal. A great result for them. Kevin Rabin winning in the Nova category of ANS Motorsport. Eco Segre winning uh, in the P4 class. And your winning team in the prototype win series is Conrad Motorsport. They claim it ahead of ANS in the team's title. Of course, Danny Sufi, the inaugural prototype winter series champion. Congratulations to Conrad. Congratulations to Danny Sufi. Thank you for joining us, teams and fans, for the inaugural prototype winter series. We'll do it all again in 2025.